So for the series, I'm going to bump this guy. It's going to take a long time to slow down because it's going so fast. But right now we're going in a clockwise direction. So we're writing down the fact that it's going in a clockwise direction. That because we don't know which one's S1, S2, A1, A2. We're just arbitrarily making connections and, and seeing which way it spins. This one is going in a clockwise direction. If I want to get this motor to go in the opposite direction, I can simply just change my A1 and A2. It goes in a counterclockwise direction. Okay, not only can I change the A1 and A2 connections, I can change my S1 and S2 connections, and that motor will go in a counterclockwise direction. So, in order to change the direction of rotation of the series motor, you can change either the armature or you can change the series. Okay, we're going to keep it like this, bump it, and you can see that. By putting our supply into here, it's going in a clockwise direction, so I'm going to arbitrarily label this one S1, S2, A1, and A2, and see how that corresponds when I end up making my shunt motor later on. Last thing I wanted to show you was uh, changing the direction, sorry, the polarity of the source. So off camera, I've just changed my source polarity, and this motor is going in the same direction. If you change both the magnetic fields, then the motor will still spin in the same direction.